Our connection to HD is uh, because of our dad who has suffered from HD for 12 years now. And uh, it was strange when he was diagnosed because our grandparents weren't symptomatic. So we were very surprised by his diagnosis. Um, I decided to get tested right after I found out about my, our dad's results. Um, it was just, it just seemed right, right, a decision to make. It was, it, I made my mind on the spot. Uh, I just knew it was something I should do uh, to know what my future held, really. Uh, although I couldn't imagine my future with the positive results. And also my mom and everybody else put kind of pressure on me uh, to, to make this decision. And so I just felt uh, I had to do it because, you know, it's such a serious disease. So you have to, you have to know and you have to tell your partner and whatnot. You, you just have to uh, know what your future is um, about. I felt there is, um, there was a lot of pressure on me and um, uh, what did it feel like? It was uh, many people who told me that I should have uh, get tested and I can't really remember my own emotions and my own thoughts about it. So uh, it was as if uh, somebody else was living my life. So I can't really remember much what I felt and what it was like really. When Eva said she was going to, to get tested, I was really surprised and I knew that the decision was caused by our mom's pressure and everything was happening so fast. And uh, I knew that Eva wasn't prepared for the positive result if it happened. Um, so I was really afraid about her because uh, she, she is my younger sister. So I was always afraid about her and I was, I, ha <clears throat> I, have, I have always been caring for her. And uh, it was really important for me. Uh, I was really afraid about her and I knew that uh, the positive result would be a big, a big tragedy for her, for our family. And... Uh, I knew that it's too fast for making this, this decision. So I wanted to get tested because uh, I wanted to decide what to do with my future career. And I wanted to choose a good future job for me. So that was the reason. And also I didn't want to uh, tell anybody about my testing process because I was really scared about the result. When Eva was during her testing process, I was trying to be supportive, but I didn't know how to do that because uh, we knew about HD just in theory. We didn't know much about living with HD, about coping with uh, uh, your waiting period. And the less you know about the disease, the more... Uh the most scared you get because you don't really know what to expect. I mean, we knew the disease from our, because of our dad. So that might have been even worse, you know, than knowing about it, what, what it really is about. Uh, because our dad is not, you know, every patient, every patient is different. As we can see now, watching all the HDO connected people. Uh, so, yeah, it made us really scared. We didn't really know what to expect. Yes. And we were just thinking we're going to end up like our dad, you know. Um, it's going to be terrible. We're not going to not gonna have family. We're not going to have a life, you know. Your life is going to end. Uh, so it was a lot of, you know, sleepless nights and crying and uh, just panic. Actually, it was like panic. We didn't have any support from yes. anywhere, any, you know, talks with a psychologist. Uh, we didn't even know any other people connected to yes. HD. We didn't have the professional support. Um, I wanted to be as supportive as I could be, but it was difficult because uh, I didn't know how to, how to be supportive enough and I didn't know what to tell Eva about her possible future. And mm. 
And I couldn't be supportive towards you because I didn't even know about the fact that you decided to get tested. So it yes. must have been very terrible to you too. Yes, so it was it was a very difficult time for us. It was difficult. When I tested negative, um, I felt relieved, I guess, because I, as I said before, I don't even remember much from this period. Um, so yes, I knew that I am free of HD, but uh, I didn't know what about my sister, what about you know the the rest of the family, and uh, and so I couldn't really be happy, although. Um, I was happy to, to know that I'm going to have, you know, like a regular family. I didn't have to uh, care about all these complicated, complicated things um, connected to, uh, you know, setting up a family. And I think that was the most important thing for me. So I still didn't know uh, whether my sister is going to get tested or not. I actually, my sister, uh, parallelly was in this process of waiting and I didn't know about it and and so in the results I was alone with my waiting process she was alone with her waiting period as well uh, so um, although we were trying to support each other you you always uh, get through it alone you know it's like with the basic things in your life uh, so of course I was I was really scared for her. I couldn't I couldn't be happy like to the full because I still didn't know what future holds for my sister. Uh, but if um, I knew that if her result was uh, going to be positive, whatever, I would uh, be able to take care of her. So even though I couldn't be fully happy, I knew it wouldn't be that terrible because there is this one one person to, to be tested negative. When uh, we knew out that Eva is tested, uh, was tested uh, negative, it was great, it was such a big relief. And uh, it was a great experience for me because I knew I would have a career in the future if I was tested uh, positive. And also, I was so happy for her because she was my, my little sister. And she, she, she is still my, my little sister. Anyway, uh, yes, it was a big relief and I was so happy for her. But also I was a little bit jealous because I wanted to be tested uh, negative as she was. So it was a little bit difficult for me. Mm, but... Uh, yeah, in general, I was happy. It happened on my birthday, and it was it was best birthday ever. But I couldn't have shared my happiness with uh, with my friends, especially uh, even if I was really happy because I didn't want to talk about HD. I felt it was something uh, for being hidden um, because I was cared about my result and I didn't want people to know about HD in our family so I couldn't have said she was tested negative. I didn't even sad. talk to my friends anyway because as we said before HD was something that terrible a thing, that unknown a thing that I didn't even share the news with my friends you know. Uh, I didn't even tell my friends that our dad so yeah. was from HD. Um, when I tested negative uh, there was another aspect to it. Uh, when um, when I was talking to one doctor, it was just a regular checkup visit, and uh, somehow uh, um, she brought up the the topic of HD. She somehow knew. Uh, she told me that uh, I should be there, lying in the church and praying, you know, um, and uh, be very thankful to God. Um, because I was tested negative and then it dawned on me that it's actually very, very arbitrary, very unfair how HD works and still I didn't know what, uh, what future was for my sister, for, my, um, uh, for the rest of our family and for the amazing people I was um, later supposed to meet. Um, in future and and so I couldn't be fully happy. I was happy that um, I'm gonna be fine in future but I just uh, was all the more unhappy 
uh, for the disease being there anyway in the first place. Uh, when I tested negative uh, one, about one month after Eva's result, uh, it was a big relief too. I was so happy, I was so surprised uh, by my result. And after all this stress I had, I could share my happiness with, uh, with everybody in our family. Uh, and what was very nice and what was very useful for the future, I felt uh, empowered and I felt I can uh, start helping others from HD community. I joined um, HD Association in, uh, in Poland and I felt it's something for me, it's something what I want to do. I want to be supportive for others. Uh, because I know that uh, the support isn't enough in Poland and I realized that we didn't have enough support and uh, I felt I had to help people um, with coping with the risk of HD or with living in HD families. It, I felt it after my result. I wasn't, uh, I didn't feel powerful enough for doing it before my test result. Uh, when my, t my sister told me that she was tested uh, negative, it all came as a shock because I didn't know that she uh, was getting tested in the first place. So I didn't even know what to say, but uh, once she explained it to me, um, you know, she told me that this is actually true that I was extremely relieved, extremely happy, and uh, it was like uh, just uh, getting this burden off. Yeah. I think we weren't prepared for our testing processes, and we were, we were pretty sure we were both symptomatic already. And it was strange yes. because, well, there wasn't any possibility of being symptomatic that time, but we believed so, and that's why I didn't want to say about my testing process because I didn't want to, um, I didn't want to worry my mom and uh, the rest uh, family members. Yes, and I wasn't going to say about my possibly positive test result uh, because I wouldn't like to worry them. I don't know what would I do um, after my positive re result if it happened, but yes, it was, um, it was my fault about it. Now that we met all the people related to HDO and all the amazing community uh, um, who we didn't know about, uh, who we didn't know about before uh, during the process, uh, the testing process, uh, now we can feel uh, we are of some help to them, perhaps. We translate uh, HDO into Polish and we talk to people, we try to be supportive now that we know what HD entails. Um, but yeah, back then you told, you said that uh, you, you wanted to be helpful when you found out that you, your result was negative, but I didn't even know that I could do anything. But now I know and I feel great. Uh, after a few years, I know many people connected to HD um, and now we have HDO and it's great, it's really great because it can help uh, people to cope with uh, their <coughs> test results. And I think if I was tested now, I I would cope with any result. If I was tested positive or negative, it would be fine for me because I know many people. And now I know that it would be much better to wait for w with my uh, testing process because yeah. I would be prepared. I I would be happy with any result, and it would be much easier uh, with uh, the less stress level. And yes, yeah. now I regret. Can we can see that people actually live, you know, yes. their life goes on, even though they, they were tested positive, which, which seemed just impossible for me at the time. Uh, but now, yeah, we can see that uh, if we got this uh, positive result, it wouldn't be the end of the world. Yes, the point is you must be prepared for your testing Definitely. process.
You need to think, think it over. Uh, you need to know what you want to do in the future anyway, because, you know, it's not that you have HD just now. It's that you, if you have some plans, you can fulfill them anyway. Our mom put the pressure on us before our test, testing processes. It sounds pretty and bad, but it's because she was so worried. We can try to understand her because um, as a mother, she felt she wanted to know, she wanted to be calm about us, she wanted to stay positive about us in the future. But and then she didn't even talk to us, right? She were, it was just like, get she tested. She couldn't do that. She didn't know how to do that. Yeah, she was just all the more stressed and we could see that. Yes, pretty much we all were stressed. Uh, our family wasn't prepared for uh, being tested. So, yes. It was just about get the results, know, know what your future is. But uh, it's not that the future, the future depends on the results only. And now we that's know what that. we felt. Now we know then. that. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, even even neighbors were talking to us, were, were trying to talk us into into getting tested because my mom our mom That's was so awful. yeah, she was so stressed. Um uh, so uh, she even talked to other people, like not even with a family. Although well, of course, in the first place it was like all the members of a family uh talking to us and saying that, well, you need to know, right? It's so serious. It's not just you, it's your, you know, future family and uh you should know now. Mm -hmm. And then also neighbors and everybody else was trying to make us think it is the most important thing. It shouldn't have been like uh, like it was, but now it's understandable and it was caused by lack of support. Lack of support in Poland and understanding of the disease. Yes. It would have helped, definitely, if I knew, if I had known that my sister uh, is uh, getting tested around the same time, too. Um, so, yes, I strongly believe that uh, if you know that your sibling is also uh, during this waiting period, uh, you don't go through it alone, because you always get through it alone if... Um, even though you get some support from people around you, they don't know what you go through, you know. It's just your sibling who is at the same risk of inheriting the disease and who is waiting uh, to know uh, about about the, the result, about the, the future that uh, makes you feel really supported. Yeah, we have been tested in the similar time, but I think I think it's a good idea for siblings because you you know how to support each other and you understand each other. That's very important because usually your friends don't understand you during your testing process. Um, but I think that uh, you should get your results in, um, in another time period. I mean, uh, you should have time for, accept your, for accepting your siblings' results. It's very important. You shouldn't get it uh, in the same day, for example, because it may be very difficult for you as a family.